Oh man, that was such a long train ride. Goodbye train, wherever you went, but where are we? This is amazing. I just hopped onto some random train. I don't, what? I better get off these train tracks. Oh my goodness. But where are we? Oh my goodness. There is a sign here for Kaleido. Well, that is me. So, um, this is a really pretty train station. Let's have a look in here. Oh, there is a book and quill. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, hi there, Kaleido. Welcome to Pixel Isles. Oh, that's where we are. We've been waiting for someone like you for a long time. Our town needs help growing, and with your creative skills and determination, you are perfect for the job. There are new people visiting Pixel Isles all the time, and we need to show them how cool it is here. Ask visitors what their style and interests are, and we'll surprise them with exactly that. I've organized a lovely little house for you not too far from here, but I would love you to to pop into my store Nook Blocks to meet me first. I'm Tim Nook, by the way. You might know my brother, Tom Nook. That's it for now. See you soon at my store. Oh, cool. So, that was like a cute little welcome book there. Oh my gosh. Well, we're at the train station, so I guess we open these doors. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, hello. So this is the Pixel Isles. Oh, this is so cool. It's a little bit empty, but from the sounds of it, they need our help. They need our help, guys. And I'm going to need your help too. So this sign says Nook Blocks, and I do believe that's what the book did say, that we have to meet Tim Nook there. That's such a cute name, Tim Nook. Nook blocks. I love it. Oh, this is a really cool little bridge. Oh my goodness. Whoa, this is a big bridge going over a big river. Oh my gosh. Well, what is this little place here? Nook blocks. Oh, I see someone in there. Hello? Hello? I'm just gonna look through the window. Hello? Is it you? Is that the one? Is that Tim? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Instead of being a creeper, we are going to come inside. Oh, hello? Hi! Oh, this is a store. Oh, nice! Hi, Tom Nook. Um, nice to see you, Kaleido. Welcome to my store. I sell just about everything you will need to decorate new homes. As you will be helping the town, I can give you what I have in stock for free. Oh, awesome, Tim. But for your own home, I will have to charge you. Sorry, speaking of your new home, you passed it on your way here. Go check it out. I gave you a few things to start off. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tim Nook. Um, I think we did pass a house, but I can't really remember. Um, I'm going to have to have a little bit of a look around here later on. There seems to be some wallpapers or something there and some other bits and pieces. Very Oh, there's a sword! Whoa, that's a big sword! Okay, okay, okay. We are going to go to my new house! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! We have a house! We have a house, we have a house, but I don't know where it is. I think, is that the one? Is that the, is this my house? Let's go out the front and see what it says. He did say that my house was on the way to his store, so, oh my gosh, it is! Collider's hovel. Oh, it doesn't really look like a hovel, but this is so cute. This suits me so much. They captured my dress color perfectly. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Oh, I have a doorbell. Ding dong. Oh my gosh, and I also have a mailbox. That is awesome. Let's go inside for the very first time. Close the door behind us. Oh my gosh, this is really cozy. I like it a lot. So he did set it up a little bit. He gave me a broom. Thank you. I can now tidy up my home. There are some candles in here. Lovely little painting. What is this? A crafting table. Oh, we have a chest with some book. Well, I want to have a look around the rest of the house before I do that. A furnace with some coal so then I could do some cooking. Possibly. Upstairs we have this cute little bed. Cool. And a little bookcase where I can read my bedtime stories. Oh, Awesome. Oh, and there's a chest here. Oh, cool. He's given me a whole bunch of starter stuff. Yay. Thank you so much, Tim. Wow. And we got some food, a caramel apple. <gasps> Yum. We got some full emerald boots and a little note saying, watch out for cockroaches. What? There's cockroaches. 
I hope there aren't. Oh my goodness, I better use my broom every single day and clean it up. Oh my gosh, I hate cockroaches. Well, well, I'm going to put on my boots. We're going to eat our caramel apple. Well, we can't yet. Oh, I really want to eat it. And there is a book down here. So I'm going to go ahead and read that. Love the little dandelions. Oh, it seems to be raining outside. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's raining. Okay, let's go ahead and read this. I hope you like your new home. I really do. Thank you. I'm sure you'll be busy decorating other homes, but over time, this place will start feeling like your own. Don't worry. There is a new visitor arriving tomorrow, so a good night's sleep might be ideal. Tim Nook, thank you so much for the little note, Tim. And thank you so much for all of this stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to start decorating this home. It's super cozy. I want to put some wallpaper up, maybe some carpet. I have so many ideas for this little home. I think it's gonna be super adorable. Oh my goodness, it has got really dark really fast and it's still raining. Okay, it is about time we go to bed, I think. I am just so excited for the morning to meet the new visitor and to get started with this new job that we've just seemed to pick up randomly. I think this is going to be a lot of fun, guys. And I'm super excited to decorate. Like, I love decorating and building, interior design, all of it. So, yeah, let's go to bed. Excited for the morning. <sighs> Good morning. We are up early and oh the sun is still rising i'm stuck in my door oh look at the sun it is a beautiful morning here in pixel isles let's close our door behind us i can't eat yet i really want to eat this caramel apple it looks delicious and we have a whole bunch of other apples too so we can definitely get to work i am ready for the day with my little booties and all of my food we have all of the tools that we need and help from Tim Nook. Now, all we need is our visitor. Oh my gosh, do you guys hear that? I can hear a train. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Let's quickly go up to the train station and see if the new visitor is there, yay. Oh my gosh, guys, I see someone. <gasps> Hello, and welcome to the Pixel Isles. I hope you like it here. Let's go ahead and interact. Let's go and chat. Um, an apple a day keeps the zombies away. Well, I have plenty of apples, don't I? So, Lizzie, we are very interested in having you a part of the Pixel Isles. Just wondering, what are your preferences? Like, what do you like in a home? Let me know, because... I might have a little bit of a surprise for you, you never know. I'm interested in anything cute and kawaii and music. Oh cool, okay Lizzie, well, I'm going to come back and show you something very soon. I'm excited to show you. Just stay right there, just don't move. Stay there, wait, wait, we're gonna close the door. Okay, no peeking. Don't you dare look through that, I'm going. Okay guys, we are going to get busy. We have to build a house for Lizzie right now. I'm super excited. This is gonna be so good. So Lizzie did say that she likes things that are cute. So we are going to be building her a very cute little home. And I wanted to kind of be looking out to the ocean, but also have a back door that kind of connects to the pathway here. So you kind of go through the back door and this is like a front area. You know how some people's houses have that? I think that's what we're going to do for her house. So I've been working on the front of it. I'm going to try to make every little house a little bit different on its own, like unique and stuff. Some of them might be a little bit similar, but um, this one I kind of want to capture her skin where it's very purple and touches of blue. So that's what we're going for. And I will show you guys what the end result looks like, but this is what it looks like so far. We might have like a little bit of a um, sitting area in here and a bit of a small kitchen, but it will be pretty simple and cute, hopefully. Well, I'm just about finished with Lizzie's little hut home here. It looks super adorable and I think it really suits her. 
Let me know what you guys think. I think it looks so cool and let's have a look. It suits her purple style and I also have some little blue accents in the window. In here, I haven't furnished yet. We still need to go to Nook Blocks to get some items to furnish, but I did put in a little fireplace here and I think there's room to put a bed, a little lounge and some other little tools and chests just to be functional. So yeah, we're going to head over to Nook Blocks now. So happy with this. What do you guys reckon? I think it suits her so well. Here we go. Hello, hi there, Tim. Okay, I'm just going to have a look around. I hope you don't mind. And I'm going to choose a couple things that might suit her. First off, I really want to have a look at some wallpapers. So 50% of all wallpapers. Well, Tim did say that everything is free if we are decorating other people's homes because it's helping the town. Um, but let's have a look. Something that's purple and blue. Oh my goodness, guys. This is like the perfect one for her home, I reckon. We are definitely going to be using that for carpet. Um, I really like this sort of blue, so we might get some carpet also. And I'm just going to have a little bit of a browse of some of the other things. We'll get some little plushies and other decorations. Also some pot plants and stuff. And anything else that I can really see is kawaii and cute. Oh, and she also said that she really likes music. So we have to definitely include something that represents music of some sort. Alrighty, so I have a couple things that I want to decorate Lizzie's house with. I'm super excited to get into the interior design finally. We've worked so hard on the outside, I think it looks great. Now we gotta make the inside look good too. Okay, let's start off with the walls. So let's see how we go with this. Cool, well I'm really happy with the wallpaper so far. I think it really adds to the walls and aesthetics of the whole room. So now we're going to just place down her bed right here. Or maybe we should put it like that. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. And then we could put that there. I want to chuck down a little chair on either side of this and also a table right here. We'll put a table there and then we're going to put a crafting table on the other end. All right, there we go. That is looking good. I'm going to put a little phonograph there so then she can listen to her music. And we're also going to put some little toys on the fireplace here because she said that she really liked kawaii things. So yeah, actually, if I put these together, they kind of look like drawers of a wardrobe. So that looks kind of cool. I'm going to put um, some more cute things sitting on top. And then we're going to put in the carpet because I think the carpet is what's going to really make this place. All right, I'm going to try to put some of these little shelves around so then she can hang some stuff above her bed and other things. There we go. Or maybe this shelf might be better. Oh, I like this shelf. <gasps> This is a really nice one. Okay, we might just put this one around. There we go. That is looking very busy indeed. I'm loving it. Put some cute shells above her bed. And I also found this moon wall thing, which I think would be perfect above each of the doors. I think that looks so cool. And we'll also put some more of these candles around to light up the place. Oh my goodness, I just realized we have two of these seashells. I'm going to get rid of these ones and put down this music box because this really suits... Oh! Oh! You can put stuff inside it? Oh my god! That is so pretty! I love it! Oh my gosh, I hope Lizzie loves her new home. I'm just going to quickly place down some of this um what do you call it carpet here we go oh whoopsie you're not meant to be there i'm just going to put it in sort of a checkered sort of pattern and look that really matches the bed awesome i am super happy with this place i think all it needs now are some paintings there we go we got another painting which is super duper cute let's see if we can get something 
along here or maybe above the bed well guys I am all done in here it took me a while to get the paintings to do what I want but look at these adorable little like hanging clothing things I don't know what you would call it like a clothing rack sort of thing on the wall it looks so adorable I'm so happy that I finally found those paintings and we also have some more shelves behind us but it looks super duper busy it's exactly what I thought would suit Lizzie so let's Let's go ahead and get her and see if she likes it. We are at the train station and she has been waiting here for quite some time. Hello Lizzie, what's going on with you today? Well Lizzie, I have something very special to show you indeed. Come on, follow me, I'm so excited. I've been working on this and I think it's going to suit you so much. You might want to permanently think about staying here at Pixel Isles, you never know. Alrighty, Lizzie, it is right here. This is your new home, if you like. I think it really suits you, and you know, if you do like it, you are very welcome to come live with me, Tim Nook, and all of the other inhabitants of Pixel Isles forever, if you want, if you want. It's your decision. But come with me in here, and let me know if you like it. I, I think it really, really suits you, honestly. It is cute, kawaii, and everything musical. So let's close the door. What do you reckon? Let's go ahead and interact and see if she likes it. Chat. I'm doing just fine. Hit my toe when I woke up though. Oh no! Well, I don't think you'll be hitting your toe anywhere here. I'm so glad it looks like she really loves her new home, guys. So I'm pretty sure that means that she is going to stay here at Pixel Isles with us all. So I just set this as her new home point. I hope you love your new home just as much as I loved building it. And yeah, we have a new neighbor, everyone. Lizzie, yay! I'm just going to put a little sign down here so we all know that it is Lizzie's home. There we go, Lizzie's home. Oh, it's so cute. And I love the little chimney, it's so adorable too. Well guys, we have gone through a lot today. Like, we've built an entire house, we've moved in our very first villager to Pixel Isles. So, so much has happened in this episode. So I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you did. And yeah, we'll see you all in the very next one, hopefully very soon. Alrighty guys, goodbye. So guys, if you would like to be a villager or a visitor to Pixel Isles, do comment down below your name, your Minecraft in-game name, and also something that you love, something you're interested in, so favorite color, what you enjoy most, so I don't know, things that are cute, animals, music, whatever you like, books, it can be whatever you like, just describe yourself, and next episode you might be the visitor who will be coming to Pixel Isles, and possibly being my next neighbor. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this first episode of a new series, I'm so excited to finally bring this to you all, I know a lot of you are a little bit sad about 100 Baby, but this is going to be just as community based, if not more. Quickly before I end the episode, I just also want to show you guys this community board so every episode I'm going to be showing fan art on this board so if you would like to send me a fan art just click the link to my Facebook account or my Twitter and you can send them to me on either of those so this is pretty much similar very similar to 100 baby except you guys aren't going to be my babies you guys are going to be visitors coming on the train and I'm going to be building you guys a awesome house. Hopefully you guys love it. But it is time to end this episode. Finally, oh my goodness. I had so, so much fun just making everything in this series, like building, creating the storyline and stuff. So I do really hope you guys enjoy it. And I know a lot of you were upset about 100 Baby, but please, please give Pixel Crossing a chance. It's going to be a lot of fun and it's a lot more fun for me and hopefully it's going to be a lot more fun for you guys too. But I think that's all I have to say for the end of this video. I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you all next time.